welcome back everyone so today i will be explaining that how to fix dot dll file missing error in windows with 4 ddig dll fixer so missing dll file or dll errors in windows 7 8 10 or 11 are one of the most common dll related problem and it can be by the name msvcr 110.dll msvcr 71.dll or runtime 11-1.0.dll and among them the most popular one is ms pvp 110.dll now if i talk about the common reason behind this kind of problem so it can be like you accidentally deleted any of the dll file any kind of software installation any kind of malware or virus or even it can happen because of any kind of system update and now i will be sharing some common troubleshooting that you can apply and the very first thing that i would recommend you that you should bring up the command prompt by clicking on your windows search type cmd right click on the command prompt click run as admin click on yes the black window will be up now here we have to run the dism and the sfc command both this command you will be getting in the description so you can copy them one by one so first is the dism command so copy and paste here hit the enter key and now this command will take some time so you will have to wait until it's all been 100% completed now once it get completed the next command will be sfc scan so again you can copy that from the description and paste it and again you also have to wait for that command until it's all been 100% completed and once both the command are completed you can go ahead and restart the computer and check back if the problem has been fixed or not if not then what you can do you can try reinstalling the software or application where you are having this kind of problem so click on your windows search type appwiz.cpl hit the enter key now look for the program whichever you have the problem with make a right click on it and choose uninstall and once it get uninstalled you can visit their website and download the program again in case if this method also doesn't work for you the next what you can do you can also try the system restore it's very simple you have to click on your windows search type restore and then you will be getting an option create a restore point click on it and here you will be getting an option of system restore that says you can undo system changes by reverting your computer to a previous store point so click on system restore and if you have created any kind of restore point the point will be created over here you can select that date and then you can restore your computer but before doing this what i would recommend you that there is one of the best and the most effective solution so for that you will have to come to this website that is for ddig and it says one click repair of software operation issues it's a dll repair and it says quickly and thoroughly scan your computer for any dll error causing problem malfunctions one click to fix corrupted damaged or missing dll file restore missing runtime libraries directx files like a pro repair startup issues in windows program and games so if you have any kind of related problem with the dll so this software will be fixing all the issues for you so you will be getting this link in the description and once you come up here you have to click on try it for free the downloading will be started and it's a small file so it won't take much time so just wait until it's all been done and once it get downloaded you don't have to click on the file you have to click on the downloaded folder and now right click on the dll fixer choose run as admin click on yes and the installation page will be up now here you have to simply click on install and once it get installed you have to finally click on start and the dll fixer will now be coming up so once you come to this page it says comprehensive error scan and repair fully and quickly runtime library directx and application issues are caused by system dll file error so this will contain dll file missing runtime library error directx error computer error message software won't open or game failed to launch so if you have any similar problem then simply you can click on full scan and it will be looking for all the problem and fixing all the issues for you now part of this if you come on the left hand side you will find runtime library repair so if you only want to fix the library repair of runtime then you can go with this option and this option will be fixing the problem like msvcp.dll was not found msvcr dll was not found vc runtime not found so these are the errors that will be resolved through this similarly if you can come to directx repair these kind of issues will be resolved over here 
So now what I would recommend you go with the full check option. Click on full scan. And this will be scanning all kind of infection, all kind of problems. It may take some time, but at least it will be fixing all the problem for you so that in the future you should not have any kind of problem. And once the scan will be completed, it says total item is scanned 7140 item to be repaired 286. And below it says runtime library found 24 item to be repaired direct X found 182 item system DLL file found 80 item. Now here you have to click on repair. So now here in the free version, it only allow you to check the problem. But in order to fix it, you will have to go and click on buy now. So if you can afford their plan, then surely you can go with them. You even get 30% off coupon code by using this code listed over here. And you can see their plan $13.95. Even you will be getting the discount. So what you can do, you can go with any one of their plan. You can click on buy now, proceed with the payment. And once you get the key, and now here you have to enter the email address that you have registered with 4DTIG. So type in the email here. And once it will be done, it says registration successful. So again, go back to the software. Click on OK. Now click on repair. And the repairing will now be started. So now if you have any kind of problem related to DLL and you tried all the solution and if nothing worked for you, then finally you can come with this tool that will be helping you to fix all kind of problem and instead of paying to any kind of technician or going to any other place what you can do just go with their paid plan and i'm very sure this will be working for you so now the process has been started you can see that it says system dll file two abnormal items fixed and it may take some time to fix all kind of problem so just wait until it's all been done And so far you can see that 80 abnormal item were fixed that was system DLL file and it's still repairing the DirectX in the runtime library. So what you have to do you just need to wait until this is all been completed and after that finally you restart the computer and you will find that all kind of DLL errors, DLL missing problem, DirectX, the runtime library error has been resolved. Alright guys, so that was the reason I shared this tool with you because many people reported that none of the solutions are working for them and in case if you have tried multiple videos and nothing is working then surely you can go with this solution. And that's all guys for today. Hopefully you found this video helpful and if yes, do not forget to like and subscribe and I see you in the next video. Bye bye.